and yun lang. Oh. Alright, so for the next one, uh, we have the exercise number 11. So given different values, assume all our integers listed in the list box, determine the sum of all the values. So in here, we're just simply uh, displaying the things that we can do inside of the list box. So if this one happened, let's say we have, an, let's say an array or a numbers okay, inside of the list box, we can actually get the summation of that one. So we can do that one by fetching the uh, row by row. So we have uh, this function right here for us to be able to get the uh, items. Okay, we have the items dot, uh, dot count. So with that, we'll be able to fetch the uh, values okay, inside of it row by row. So in here, we just declared two variables, the total and then the counter. So the counter is for the uh, starting point and then the ending point of this one. And then the total is, this is where we uh, put the summated value uh, of whatever is the uh, submitted value of this one. So it's being displayed on this uh, text box right here. Okay. So yeah. So let me just show this one to you guys real quick. So for this one, we have, let's see, I have these values right here. So if I click start and then hit compute, it will give me a result of 1979. So of course you can uh, remove one or you can add more, okay, by going to the properties of this one and then go to items and then collection. And then let's see, you wanted to add uh, 50,000, okay, and then neg see negative 20,000. So just hit OK, and then hit start, and then, okay, wait a second. And then hit compute, and then it will give you the submitted value of this one, 31,979. So again, whatever we have in this code right here, I just copy this one. So you can try to uh, add more if you want. You can uh, experiment, you can uh, try to modify, okay? So yeah, that's it for the uh, exercise number 11. And then for these exercises right here, so this is where you guys should focus because most, not, not actually most, maybe 15 items only, 10 to 15 items, we have this kind of questions in your final exam, okay? So in here, tell how many times does each of the following loops iterate and what is the final value of the variable x in each uh, case. Okay, so we have two answers uh, per number. So we have to find how many times your x or this uh, code right here will iterate. And then what is the final value, okay, of your uh, x. So let's the notepad. So anyone in the class, how many times do you guys think uh, this number one will look? Anyone? How many times this number one will look or I, how many times will it iterate? So coming from Miss Eunice, so she said that it's seven. What about the others? What are your guess? Seven, we have an initial value of five and then ending point of 30, and it's only incrementing by one. Six, what about the others? Miss uh, Kazal, Miss Battle, or Mystery. Miss Pretty Ble, are you there? Oh, John, five. What about you, Miss Renan? What is your uh, answer or uh, guess with your number one?
Walang tama sa inyo. Naku, paano na yan? Wala kayong makukuha dito. There you go. So the correct answer is 26. So coming from Miss Eunice. So why 26? So again, we've started with 5. And then it's incrementing by 1. So the next one is of course 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So of course you have to check if the condition were true since we're using while. So 10 is still lesser than 30. So it will still loop until it reached the value of 30. Okay, or 31 actually. Okay, once it reached the value of 31, the statement now is false. So it will uh, now stop looping in there. So if you're going to count that one starting from 5 to 30, so it will give you a value of 26. So why 26? Because we started with 5. So it's like 30 minus 5 plus 1. All right. So 30 minus 5 plus 1. So 30 minus 5 is 25. So it will be plus 1 since we started with the uh, initial value, okay, or initial number. So this will look 26 times and then the final value, okay, of our x is 30. So I hope uh, you guys can answer now the number two correctly. Oops. So what about uh, number two? You know, naglalo ko na talaga yung mouse ko. I think I need to buy a new one. So initial value is 10 and final value is 50, but it's incrementing by five. So how many times this will look? Tatlo. Layo naman ng 3. 45. Ang dami naman ng 45 na yan. Okay. So, uh, 8 is incorrect. What about the others? Try to recheck. Kaya gumagamit ako notepad eh. Kasi uh, it's really quite confusing. Especially if uh, it's not incrementing by 1 anymore. What about you, Miss Eunice? What is your answer regarding with this one? So, coming from Mr. Joshua, it's 10. So, 10 is incorrect. Huh? Lai yata ng 19. Okay, so uh, let's do this one. All of us, so initially the value is 10, so it's incrementing by 5, so the next value is 15, 20, 25, 30, and then of course you have to recheck. So 30 is 30 is still less than, than 50, so if it's true, then you can still proceed. 35, 40, 45, and then 50. So can we proceed to 55? So 55 is already... Uh, not less than or equal to 50. So it's already false. Okay, so we will not include 50 anymore. So we will stop at exactly 50. So from here, you can now count how many times uh, this one loop. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. Okay, so this will loop 9 times. And the final value is 50. All right. So, I hope that one is clear. Maybe it's bit Okay. So, the correct answer is 9 times and then uh, the final value is 50. What about number 3? So we now have a post test right here and then we are now using until. Okay, so what do we say again? If it's until, it will only loop if we have a false statement. And then it will stop if we have a true, why, why, why false statement? If we have a false condition, okay? And then it will only stop if we already have a true uh, condition, okay? Anyone? What is your answer with number three? Huh? 
Nakakalito ka. Alright, that's, that's okay. okay. You can always go back, you know, at the first 10 slides. It will explain there what is the functionality of do while, uh, do loop while, okay, do loop until, do until. So we have six kinds of structures, okay? So just go back there and then you will know how that looping structure works. So kailangan alam mo talaga kung ano ba, dapat true ba yung condition, false ba yung condition, bago siya mag-execute, mag-proceed ba siya, o hindi. Alright, so for this one, our initial value is 60, so we'll check. 60 is equal to 40. So 60 is equal to 40, so false. So it will loop, okay, at uh, a value of 60. And it's decrementing by 10. Okay, so the next value is 50. So is 50 equal to 40? So it is still false, right? So that is why it will still loop at a value of 50. But what about 40? 40 is equal to 40. It's already a true condition. Will it loop or no? No, sir. Okay, so if it's no, then you, you don't need to include that one anymore. So you will stop at 50. So it will loop two times. Itong mouse na to. I like it. will loop two times and then the final value is 50. All right. So let's just recall again if we have while. So for this to be able to uh, execute or loop, you must have a true condition. So, hang that true yung condition mo, maglo-loop pa rin siya. And then mag stop lang siya kapag false condition na. And then for the until, okay, so it will only loop if we have a false condition. Okay, so kabalik ta rin lang siya ng while. And then it will stop looping if we have uh, already a true condition. Okay, so ganun lang siya. Right. Lolo ko talaga tong mouse ko. Right, anyway. How about number four? How many times it will loop? Two. What about the others? Three. Two is incorrect. Three is incorrect. One is incorrect also. Okay. So again, check the condition. So we have until. So our initial value is 100, right? So 100 is greater than 70. So at the very first, we already have a true condition. We're in, again, if we have uh, the, the uh, structure until it will only execute if we have a false uh, condition. But in here, we have already at the very first of the uh, looping, we'll already have a true condition. So this will never loop. Okay? And then for the final value, it's unknown since it never loop. We don't know the value. All right? So, dun pa lang, uh, wala na siya. Okay? Hindi na siya nag -look. Anyway, so I hope uh, medyo nakukuha niyo na. We have more examples right here. What about number five? One, starting at 15, ending at 45, incrementing by 5. Uh, 
and then it will stop once the x is already higher or equal to, uh, equal to 30. Forget that. Okay, so we'll see. Four, six. What about the others? What are your guesses? Six also. Okay, let's let's see. Okay, starting at fifteen and it's incrementing by five. Okay, so we'll get twenty. So check. Is 15 less than or equal to 45? So yes. So it will still loop since we have a while structure right here. So for while, it will only loop if we have a true condition. So 20, 25. So 25 is still less than uh, 45. But in here, we now have reached 30. Wherein it says here that once we've reached 30 or 30 is ready or x is already equal to 30, then it will exit the uh, looping. So in here... 30 is not included anymore because that's the uh, point where it will uh, force close the looping or it will stop looping. So in here, uh, in here uh, we only have uh, three times of loop. And then the final value is 25. Okay, so 7 is uh, incorrect. So this will loop three times and then the final value is 25. Alright, so hindi pa rin yata clear. Well, anyway, that's okay. Just do a lot of practice. You know, just visit a lot of uh, other websites which has a lot of activity when it comes to looping structures. So what about number 6? How many times number 6 will loop? Five. Okay, so maybe you're right. Okay, so maybe you're right if you are only looking at this condition. But then again, check. We have here a condition wherein if x is greater than 75, wherein our initial value is 100. So 100 is already greater than 75. Okay, so. Basically, at the very first of the loop, it will already stop uh, looping. So this will never loop, and then the value is again unknown. Okay, so it's like uh, when we have this exit do right here or exit well, this will override the condition uh, right here. Okay, so if this is already true, then it will close right away. Or it will exit looping right away. Okay, so I hope uh, you guys uh, get the number six. So what about number seven? So what are your answers?
Mr. Dad, Miss Devera, hello, Jan Pabayo. Okay, five coming from Miss Patricia. Two coming from Miss Atangin. What about the others? Wala pang tumatama. One, seven, wala pang tumatama. Okay. So, if you guys are going to take a look on this one, uh, so, until, right? So, kapag until, dapat uh, false yung condition. So, 75 is less than or equal to, uh, equal to 10. So, yes, it's uh, false. Okay? So, it will loop. Okay? You can count that one as your first loop. Okay? And then, it's incrementing by, by 10. Okay? So, the next one is 85. Okay? So, 85 is still uh, false with this one. So that you can count that once another a part of your uh, loop, okay? But maybe you will realize that it will never stop looping, okay? Because it will uh, really never make this statement true. Oops. Okay, it will never make this statement uh, true. So 85, 95, 105, 115, and so on and so forth. So that is why the answer for the number 7 is infinite. Okay? And then for the final values, of course, we don't know. Let's just say infinite because uh, it will never stop looping. Okay? So there is a possibility that it will never loop. And there's also a possibility that we have an infinite loop. All right? So did you guys uh, get that one? All right. Okay, so konti pa. Maintindihan niyo na to. What about number 8? How many times uh that one will loop? Hello, hello. Mga answer na ba kayo? Finally! So the answer of Mr. Dan is correct. So this will never do. Okay, that's because initially, uh, you know, 100 is already greater than 70. And then again, if we have until, this will only loop if we have a false condition. So, at the very first, it's already a true condition, so it will never loop. And the value, or the final value is unknown. Alright, so very good, uh, Mr. Dan. I hope the others uh, get this one also. Okay. So, for the number 9, we're now going to use the 4 next structure. So, how many times the number 9 will loop? Okay, so yeah, that's correct. So it will loop 11 times. So if you're going to list that one from 0 to 10, so the total uh, times that it will loop is uh, 11. And then if, you know, uh, as you can see, we don't have a step value right here. So if the step value is not indicated, by default, it will increment by 1. All right, so that is why it's incrementing by 1. So that's why we have uh, 11. Uh, total of loopies. And then the final value is 10. What about number 10? Yeah, 
that's correct. So six is correct. So zero, zero, oops, zero, two, four, six, eight, and then ten. So just count that one. We have a total of six uh, loopings. All right. Six, and then the final value is ten. Okay. Yes. Correct answer is six. Um, it seems. So I hope the others uh, can follow. Can you guys follow so far? Miss Rene Ann, Miss uh, Kazel, and Miss Pertible. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, Miss Patricia, Miss uh, Pertible, and Miss uh, Atangin. So, wala yata si Miss Ranian. Anyway, how about number 11? Okay. So, yeah, just review this one, Miss Ranian. So, the correct answer is 11. So, that, that is correct. And then, the final value is, of course, uh, 0. Alright. So, just uh, recheck this one. This will loop 11 times and then the final value is uh, 0. Okay, it's decrementing by 2. What about number 12? Okay, very good. So, yun. Nakuha nyo na. Finally, at the very last item. So, this will loop 5 times and then the final value is what? Dapat yun ito na exam. Meron naman, mga 15 items yata. Or 10, 10 to 15 items. Okay, the final value is 12. So, yeah. That's it for uh, the module 9. So, again, we will not uh, discuss the following topics anymore since we don't have that uh, much time left. So, the coverage of your final exam is module 7, module 8, and then module 9. So, for the module 9, up to whatever we have just covered. Okay, up to this point only. Slide 42, okay? So, entire module 7, entire uh, module 8, and then module 9, just partial, 1 to uh, 42 only. So, yeah, that's it for our uh, class for this COMPFP. This is already our last meeting, so... I would like you guys to use our remaining meetings for you to be able to finish the uh, activities or quizzes which I gave to you. Alright, so do you guys have a question so far or a clarification? This is now your uh, final chance to ask this one via a, a live Zoom meeting. Laging walang nagtatanong sa inyo kapag kapag Zoom meeting. Mas mabilis nga dito ba eh, kasi madedemo ko kagad, masasabi ko kagad. Maraming katanungan kapag puro, puro sa inbox na. So, ang ang kadalasan nun, uh, sa alam makapagre-reply after 5 hours, 10 hours after 1 day. And then, ayun, ang hirap pang ipaliwanag kasi nagta-type ka tapos paano ko papakiting image o mag-attach pa ako ng picture. So, mas mabilis dito kasi ah, shit, nakikita nyo na kagad yung screen ko eh. Step by step pa. So, mas madali. Well, anyway, so, wala talaga kayong question? Well, kung wala, then congrats. Maybe uh, naintindihan mo naman lahat or natapos mo na siguro yung mga activities. Oh, yes, Miss uh, Ranian. Okay, what about the others? Do you guys have a question? So, if you don't have a question anymore, so you may now go. Okay. And then, if ever you have the questions, just again feel free to message me anytime. Okay.
Bye, sir. Goodbye. And uh, again, thank you guys for coming. Uh, I really appreciate it. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, and thank you, too. Error, this template attempt to load component assembly. Hmm, bakit nasa C-sharp ka? Just use Visual Basic. Can you share your screen right now? Okay, ah, goodbye, uh, Miss Kesa. Can you share your screen right now, Miss Ranian? Kasi dapat hindi uh, C-sharp. Mag-upisa ka dapat uh, Windows, Windows, Windows. Sir, sa last quiz, nag plus 2 lang ako para makuha ad numbers. Okay lang po ba? Yeah. What important is uh, you're, you're uh, showing me the uh, correct output. Okay? So, marami tayong ways. Pwede nyo dayain. Actually, ganun nga lang ginagawa. Daya-daya lang yan sa mga codes. Okay? Hindi mo kailangan ng napakagandang algorithms. Basta tama yung lumalabas na result. Okay? So, let me just uh, share my screen, Ms. Renian. Alright. So, if you're going to create a project, uh, I hope we have the same version. Could be 2019 or 2015. So I think medyo the same lang naman. So it should be Windows Forms app.net framework. And then take note, it should be Visual Basic. Okay, so parehas lang din naman yun. Meron siyang desktop, meron ni Windows. But in here, uh, we have a different language. So the one that you're using is, I guess, C or C++. But in here, it should be Visual Basic. Okay, so dapat ito yung gagamitin mo. Kasi dito, we have four... Uh, fold, actually, five pa nga eh. So, the project name, okay, and then the solution, wherein you will not touch this one anymore. And then the uh, location, which uh, you also have. And, yeah, and then the framework. Okay, you don't also need to touch this one. So, all you need to touch is the uh, project name and then the location. Okay, so try again, uh, Mr. Anian. Baka iba kasi yun. Okay, sige, sige. Alright, so you're welcome. So, any other concerns? So, we still have 2 minutes and 50 seconds. How about you, Miss uh, Eunice? None, sir. Bye, sir. Alright, so goodbye. And uh, again, thank you guys for coming. Goodbye.